Welcome back to Green is Good. And we're so excited to have with us today, Dave Savage. He's the Consumer Relations Manager at Day of Foods. Welcome to Green is Good, Dave Savage. Hey, Hey, Dave, you know, we're so happy to have you on. We've never had you on before, and we love your brand, Day of Foods. And and for our listeners out there who want to follow along while we're having this wonderful chat this morning with Dave, it's www.daiyafoods.com. I'm on the site now. It's a beautiful site. It's actually making me hungry. Um, Dave, before we get into talking about your wonderful brand, talk a little bit about the brand of Dave Savage. How did you end up at Day of Foods? And talk a little bit about your journey leading up to this position. Yeah, I, I spent um, about 25 years in hospitality service, uh, really you know, enjoying the connecting with customers and uh, worked for larger brands, smaller brands, really enjoyed that, that part of the journey. But uh, about five years ago, I started getting really you know, health conscious, like a lot of people I used to live on the West Coast. And I started exploring different different food options for myself, different journeys. So I eliminated some dairy. I got rid of some other, other things. So I discovered day I was, a, I was a consumer before I joined the company. I thought, this stuff is amazing. And, and I, asked, I think a lot of the same questions that people ask me now. How can this ha- not have dairy? How can this not have these, these, these allergens and taste so good? And so then I, I was on the website and a, and a job opening came up and I started and I loved it from day one. It was just, a, it was just one of those really, really good fits. Perfect. And here you are. Yeah, I'm loving it. And still, I think I probably enjoy it more now than I did even when I started because I, you know, I get to know people better. And we have an amazing uh, team, like ultra, like very dedicated uh, research and development people, um, people who are in QA and people who package our food. There's just a real sense of um, mission and dedication and, and also a lot of fun. We get to sample a lot of food. So we get to eat lots of pizza and, and, and cheesecake and different things for the day. So it's a, it's a good gig. I'm already <laughs> I'm envious of your, of your, of your job. As, as our listeners yeah. know, I'm a, I'm a full on vegan. I love your products. Of course, before I brought you on the air, I asked you off the air, how to say the name of your product. So, uh, mm-hmm. oh, for our listeners out there, of course, it's spelled D A I Y A Day of Foods.com. But I asked you, was it Daya? Was it Day? And of course, you said it's Happy Daya. It's Have a Happy Daya at Day of Foods. And so, um, but how, how'd you guys come up with the name? Where did this name come from? It's a little bit of a, a play on words. They wanted to have something that, it, that sounded close enough to dairy yeah. without actually being dairy. And then we found it, we called the they you know, kind of stumbled upon Dea, which really does reflect the values of the company because it means loving, kindness, and compassion. If you got to know the owners of the company, you would see, ah, that's like a perfect fit for these guys. I love it. And, and, and how did, and when and how did Dea start? I started with uh, Greg and Andre, who are truly amazing guys. Uh, I, that's probably one of the, the perks <laughs> of working here is working closely with them. Right. Uh, they are uh, hardcore uh, foodies, they love food. They're both vegans. Uh, they're very, very funny and deeply uh, committed to the company. And so they started about, uh, I think they were good friends for a long time. I know they both played music together. They were good friends for about 20 years. Uh, and both of them were vegans. They wanted to find uh, a cheese alternative that would mm. actually have some taste, mm. like stretch and bubble and do all the good stuff that Dea does. So they went on a bit of a journey, two years, uh, lots of frustration, lots of uh, mistakes, and, and definitely meltdowns and catastrophes, uh, as they will tell you. And it, the, the stories are really, really fun. They're both good rock contours. They're great to listen to. Uh, and then, you know, they stumbled on the formula. They stumbled on the formula that was just right. They would, they would you know, it would hold its, its mm. form. It would melt and bubble. And then they brought it to uh, Expo West, which is a natural food expo in Anaheim. We go every year. That was 2009. And that's the very first time they debuted the product way, way, way in the basement of, of, the, of the auditorium, which is a big, big space. And it was a huge hit. And that was, 2000, with, and that was 2009. 2009. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. And we've gone from, which, is, which I love hearing, because we went from a tabletop, which would be about maybe like an 8-foot, 10-foot table, and we now have a 40-foot booth. That's awesome. I just like, and there's, no, there's nothing more fun for me than to sh- have people like you on, Dave, and share the entrepreneurial, you know, you said fits and starts and crashes and burns. And this is, yeah. this is the story. This is what makes America great. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, uh, and talk about a mega trend. If veganism and, and clean eating isn't a mega trend, yeah. there is no mega trend. Um, so, 
Yeah, no. and these aren't these aren't like little trendy trendy things. Like in you know, the little no. trends come and go. No. This is a movement. This and, is a uh, movement. We, yeah, this is something we really focus on. That it, this is not going to go out of style in two years or five years. It's not going to be. Oh yeah, I remember you know a like high barrier, I remember something like that, everything. Had, this is this is really meeting a big need for a lot of people. Hey, and so I'm on your website now. First of all, I'm getting super hungry. And for our listeners out there, Good. I eat the day of products all the time. Uh, and I eat out a lot, and, and I'm on the run a lot. And um, just delicious, delicious products on every level. Let's talk a little bit about, though, the beginning, the beginning of why. And I would love you as the consumer relations manager and really chief evangelist to share with our listeners why Daya over regular cheese? That is a great question. We get that a lot. <clears throat> a lot of people right now just can, uh, you know, cannot uh, consume dairy. Right. That's, that's one of, the, one of the, the major markets. They just cannot tolerate it. And there's different levels of tolerance. There's different people who have like a very strong reaction to people who just feel mildly uncomfortable. And so they're looking for something that is dairy-free, but we also are soy-free and gluten-free. So it really fits into a lot of different uh, different allergies. But the primary thing is, and I, and I keep going back to this with all our consumers, is this stuff just tastes really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it happens to be dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free. So it's not a compromise. It's not like, oh, okay, I can, I, if, if I have to have it on my pizza, I'll have this. This stuff is, is amazing. But, in, but even, even um, so many people, including myself, are, are, are really dairy intolerant, but it's even yeah. so much healthier than dairy. Even if you can tolerate dairy, it's bad for your health compared to the great day of products. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And we find now more and more with, you know, nutritionalists, and because we deal with a lot of yeah. uh, nutritionalists, we deal with a lot of dietitians, and what they're seeking out is plant-based diets. Yeah. Yeah. Plant-based. That yeah. just keeps going over and over. And we always look for keywords, and they're looking for, you know, is it this, is it this? And then the, you know, the ringer is always, is it plant-based? And then you say, well, it's a vegan product. And we're like, this oh. is a vegan product? <laughs> so I think there's a lot of misnomers of what is a vegan diet, because it, it's almost like, well, this tastes really good, and I'm enjoying it. Like, we had a guy in, in Boston last year, which is the, the story I love to tell everybody, <laughs> is him and his wife, three kids, he's eating the product. This is really good. You know, hon, we should get this at home. And she's like, we already do. Really? <laughs> uh, so he didn't know he's eating dairy free for about a year. Oh, that's awesome! And I loved how, and just the look at his face was classic. I loved it, and the look on her face was more like, "Oh my gosh." <laughs> I love this. I love this. And so I'm on your site now for our listeners out there who just joined us. We've got Dave Savage. He's the Consumer Relations Manager manager for Daya Foods. It's www.daiyafoods.com. Cream cheese spread, slices of cheese, shreds of cheese, pizzas. Where do people who are listening to this show around Canada, around the United States, and around the world find your great products? We are fortunate enough to be in uh, 12,000 grocers. We really embrace by uh, both the natural food markets and just the, the regular traditional like Safeways. Uh, they have really, really hopped on board because it's a big trend. So we are in uh, Whole Foods, mm. Kroger, Safeway, Publix. Uh, and on our website, there's a store locator, which is very, very convenient, very user-friendly. You can just uh, type in your zip code. It'll tell you a, a basic idea of where all our products are available. But if you want something very specific, like just the cream cheese or yeah. just the pizza, you can narrow the search engine down and just find that. And it'll tell you exactly how many miles it is, uh, address and phone number. Got it. How many different cheeses do you guys make? We have a great line right now. We have uh, three types of, of shreds. So uh, cheddar, mozzarella, and pepper jack, wildly popular, wildly popular. Uh, we have uh, block cheeses. And we have uh, slices for grilled cheese sandwich. The slices are great hot or cold. And we have a really nice line of frozen pizzas. We have four flavors. Um, they are just ready to bake, uh, 11 minutes in the oven, and you're, you're good to go. Oh, man, that is so good. And even on your site, I'm on your site now, and you have a whole um, recipe section. Talk yeah. a little bit about this and talk a, bit, a little bit about the funness of your job and being able to uh, taste the new and exciting products yeah. you have in development uh, on a regular basis. Because I'm on your, I'm on your site, yeah. and man, I'm looking at some um, amazing-looking products and recipes right here. Yeah, I wish we could film uh, our research and development team in action because these guys are... Uh, in a league of their own. They're just elite. They uh-huh. are they are fun, but they are deep foodies. So we will taste uh, one particular product before we launch pizza. We had pizza almost every day. 
for, you know, what is the crust like? What is the cheese like? What is the sauce like? Does this taste like this? What does this taste like? And so we would do what we call sensories. And we each have to, you know, just blind taste test stuff. It's very, very um, in-depth. So we do sample our food every day wow. and we taste it to see, you know, what is the consumer experiencing? And, and uh, I will tell you, they are pushed hard to have something that is r- really rich and delicious. Wow. Um, so like we did, we did the cream cheese. The cream cheese, the plain cream cheese, converts beautifully into a no-bake cheesecake, which we brought to a few shows with us, and it's just you know blowing the doors off. People are like, oh, my gosh, I want to buy this in store ready-made. Um, so, yeah, we love doing that. We love sampling stuff, but it's always with the consumer in mind. Like, would, you know, would my kid enjoy eating this? Would I bring this home? Big question. Would I serve this to my friends at home? And I do. This is, and I'm and I'm a looking lot. at your and I'm looking at your website and and on yeah. the recipe section. So uh, consumers and people who love your wonderful yeah. brand, they could actually post their own pictures in their recipes. I'm looking at the a mac and cheese, yeah. and I'm looking at a vegan lasagna. And man, I'm just yeah. I want to be up at your offices right now and be trying some of this. This is great stuff. So this is yeah. this is actually user based. This is, but this is the big thing with it, with our brand. I've worked with a ton of you know high end brands and yeah. regular brands. I have yet to meet a brand where consumers are so passionate about. It. They're sharing their kids' pictures. They we get that weekly. Weekly, we get people you know showing the kid having the grilled cheese sandwich for the first time or a mac and cheese for the first time, uh, and that is what just spurs the team on to develop more because you know you see these these great kids enjoying mac and cheese for the first time or pizza for the first time. Uh, but people will send in recipes. They send in suggestions. Uh, they send you know they send in pictures of hey this is the new display in our store. So they're really uh, the, the the customers are on fire. So we really just have to follow behind them because they're yeah. on fire. They're blazing the trails. So we're kind of following behind with like, hey, try this. I mean, so look, we're very lucky. We're very lucky because we're not trying to arm twist anybody into like we don't have to discount anything just to try it, to get people to try it because people are, are, you know, calling us every day with where can I find this? I can't find this in my store. And I've talked to my grocery manager. And so that's really a, a blessing to have consumers who are so uh, committed. They become, they become your greatest ambassadors and evangelists. But they are because any any thing we can send you know a, a SWAT team of salesmen out and be like oh yeah that's great yeah. but you talk to a mom who's yeah. got a story yeah. boom you're, you're you're done because it's a third party they just love hearing from wow you know so we have yeah we had a little girl uh, one of my favorite stories there are lots of good yeah. stories but uh, her dad wouldn't buy her day because he thought it was too expensive and it was just you know it's not going to be good quality so we sent her coupons <laughs> like hey here's have a free a whole bunch sent her a whole bunch of coupons and she tried it and converted her dad her dad is like oh my gosh we need to be buying this all the time <laughs> and she was i think those are my very first um letter i got that was written in pencil uh... That is and awesome. Like, this is the best day in the world. I mean, this kid, this kid's better. And it was like, we need, you know, an army. But she was a young, young. This is oh. a whole generation coming behind us. They're not converting to vegans. They're they're starting off very young. This is they're so really interesting. to their bodies and. You know, you get. You know, it's so fascinating because you're really the 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 new happy brand of our generation. I mean, in terms of you know, years ago, I remember when Ben and Jerry's first came out, they were selling happiness in a cup, and you're doing the same. You know, with a whole new generation, because now people get to enjoy your brand on so many different products and make all sorts of new creations out of it. But it's healthy for them. They're not, you know, diminishing their body or the environment by doing. Uh, enjoying your brand. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Oh, exactly. You know, let's um, let's talk about a little bit about pizza because pizza is, people are passionate about your pizza. Is your mozzarella really? Is your day of mozzarella and day of cheese really good on the pizza? Does it melt like a really nice? I'm yeah. from New York, Dave. I mean, is like, are we going to have a good pizza with your cheese on it? My friends are going to have a great pizza with our ah, cheese. On. I it, love it. it melts very well. Yeah. It bubbles up nicely, and it doesn't have that. You kind of like, uh, I think, with other products, and <laughs> and not to to ever bash another brand, but yeah. some kind of it just kind of it it melts. Yeah, and then just it kind of dissolves into this. Oh my, that's a, a mass of something. But this actually stays in stays in form, melts really nicely, it bubbles up, and has a little bit of brownness on it. You can actually uh, just you know, and that's that's a traditional cheese. Mm. That's just that little bit of golden brown on the top, and you know mm. it's done. Uh, and so, well, yeah, so we encourage people to, you know, to, to get our pizzas and try it. Uh, everybody's got their, their personal favorite. Mine's the roasted veggie. Mm, that's great. I have that a couple of, couple of times a week. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. And, you know, a lot of people just, they just bring home a, um, our cheese lovers pizza and they add on their own toppings. And they put, they, and they bring in lots of suggestions. They send pictures in. Uh, it's a, it's a really great pizza and it's convenient. 
Um, the GMO issue is, is heating up more and more. Talk a l- yep. little bit about your brand in yep. GMO. Yep. We are very, very happy to... Uh, our products have always been uh, non-GMO. We're in the very final stages now of being certified. Wonderful. It's a long, it's a long process. Sure. Uh, but be, to be qualified for the process, everything in your, your, in your uh, plant and every, everything you buy from has to be certified and have certificates of uh, non-GMO. And I can tell you, when you are talking to consumers, uh, that is a big touch point. Because uh, at one point it was uh, organic. Is everything organic? And, and most of our product is organic. But getting the certification is really tough to, with a lot of people. But the non-GMO, people love so uh, really, really proud of that. Are all your products gluten free? All our products are gluten free. Unbelievable. So we're now we're down to the last three minutes or so, Dave. Yep. Talk yep. a little bit about let's look forward. I mean, it's amazing what you guys have accomplished in five short years. I mean, literally yep. twelve thousand retail stores and 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 the restaurants that I eat at that 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 use your product and and it's just it's, like I said. I'm a huge fan. I eat your product every day. So, um, but talk a little bit about where you guys are taking the company next. Right, right now we are. We have uh, about three new products yeah. uh, ready to launch in uh, 2015, and some of them, some of them are, are at different stages. Okay, but definitely, definitely, we'll have new products again launched at Expo West. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't tell you exactly what products they are. One of the, the key things that we do get asked a lot to do is uh, mm-hmm. is to sort of co-join with other companies. Like mm-hmm. we're gonna, you know, uh, put your mozzarella on our on our products, and they want to do that. Um, we're really focusing now a little bit more on developing our own product and our own brand. Mm. So uh, we have uh, a, a, new, a new category uh, ready to launch in 2015 at Expo West. And so it, it's, made, it's, it's a lot of work. We have, uh, it's just a ton of the, the R&D staff are working, I will say, some overtime trying to perfect it. Because taking it from a small recipe into a larger scale where you're selling you know, hundreds of thousands of units is, is a big challenge. Right, right, right. So we have so people can expect in 2015 to see some some new products, uh, some new packaging, uh, and pretty much the same the same look. It's just you know kind of that that next generation. But it's going to be. I, I will say I've I tried the new product that we're launching in 2015, and I will probably be the first one in the store buying it because it's it's phenomenal. <laughs> oh, that's all I can say. I can, <laughs> You've I given the big that. tease here. Is there a lot of go, go back to something you just said? We're down to a, co- a couple minutes here, yeah. last minute and a half or so. But are there other brands that actually incorporate your product into their brand and make a product that you can talk about? Yeah, uh, Panico Pizza in Canada is a big uh, pizza chain in Canada. Okay. Uh, so we'll be working with them um, in the near future. And Amy's has always been a big fan. Amy's has used our products for a long time. Got it. Oh, Amy's and yeah. Amy's is a wonderful yeah. brand. We I love yeah. Amy's also. That's that's wonderful. So new products coming out, more distribution. Yeah. Um, and is it veil? Is your product already available around the world, or is it North America centric right now? We are. We have just. Uh, we are just closing a deal on Australia. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, probably not to really say we are uh, looking at the UK for either later this year or uh, beginning of next year. So it is going to be going around the world because yeah. Green is Good Nolly goes to North America, but it gets, uh, after it's on, Cl- on our great uh, partners at Clear Channel and iHeart, it goes around the world on the iTunes mm-hmm. network, and we have listeners all around the world, so we get emails all the time. Is this is the product being sold here in yeah. Shanghai, or is it being sold in Dubai? Yeah. And So I just wanted to, to know. So yeah. it, it, eventually you're going to make your way around the world, I take it, Dave? Definitely. Uh, but Australia is definitely the first. The we're, you know, the, the, the ink is the ink is dry on that deal. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, well, I want you to come back on when these new products come out, so we yeah. could talk about them and 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 we could sample them in studio, maybe even and 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 be chatting about them at the same time. And and again, I want I want to encourage our listeners to learn about how to be healthier, how to eat healthier, and how not to even give up any of the uh, of the quality because uh, the day of cheese. Is is just amazing. The cheese and all the products they create. I'm a big fan. I'm a vegan. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's the best out there. It's www.dayoffoods.com. D-A-I-Y-A foods.com. Thank you, Dave and Day of Foods for your commitment to kind living and your compassion for people and planet. You are truly living proof that green is good. <laughs>